My name is Ron Adelot, Riverdale uh, High School, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, head football coach. And I'm here to talk a little bit about our offense today. Uh, the reasons that we run the offense are, are varied. Um, you know, it's a strong belief of mine that we get all of our backs involved. I believe that the high school, uh, high school game is still a running game primarily. Uh, you should spice it up with some throws but your ratio of throw to run, in my opinion, should be a little higher run. Um, we like the four-back offense. We feel like that we want to spread the defense uh, horizontally. And by what I mean by that is we want to make sure that we, we threaten or appear to threaten the internal portion of the defense, the off-tackle portions of the defense, and the perimeters of the defense, along with having a counter game off of each series and being able to have a play action pass off of each series. Uh, what I'm going to talk about in this particular video is our short yardage package. And when I say short yardage, this, this video does not mean, uh, or the, the, the material in this video does not mean that this is strictly used in short yardage situations. We will pull this offense out at any time on the field, and we have a few formations that we will use out of this offense, but the primary component that, that brings it back and links it as one component is we will use two tight ends. Uh, we feel like the two tight end package forces defenses into things that they do not like to do, at least on one side, and will cause them some sort of problem, which gives us an advantage. However, I will note that sometimes it's hard to find one tight end, and there have been years where we've been hard-pressed ourselves to find one tight end find one tight end, but we find that if we find at least somebody who is capable of doing certain things at that other tight end to give us two tight ends, it has been a huge, a huge help for our offense and something that we've been very successful with implementing and using over the past few years. Uh, we will go through the, uh, the basis of the double tights and the things that we like to do out of it and our favorite formations and some of the things that we like to do out of the short yardage package. I'm going to begin by talking about formations and some of the philosophies we have behind our double, behind our double tight short yardage package. Uh, first of all, we know from even running our own defense that a lot of times defenses are geared with a strong and a weak personnel package. So we feel like any time that we go to two tights, we have forced the defense into something that they may not like. We do know this for sure. They're going to have to spend practice time on this and get in the line to double tights, and they've got to have some sort of answer for the double tight package. Uh, the first formation that I have drawn up here is what we call double. Double in this regard means if they are an eight-man front even, they've got, they do have even personnel, but most even front teams don't like to play head-up techniques. They like to shade. Uh, in this scenario, I have the, the end to the, to, our, to the offense's right and the defense's left, running a seven technique with a three technique. Usually when they do this, then you'll get a one. That forces an end down into a five. Uh, possibly he could work out to a seven, but that would leave you a large crease. And now they have walked an outside linebacker up, and he has to become the primary